Well, it's known for being one of the most unique fundraisers for a great cause. An evening where guests are going to experience dinner in total darkness, part of the reason we have the lights dim. Sure. And it's all to support vision rehabilitation programs. Welcome to Chris and Brandon from Bosma. They're here to tell us more about what you can experience at Saturday night's event called Dining in the Dark. Friends, welcome to the show. Welcome. Thank you, Thank Thank you for you having us. Good morning. So we've dimmed the lights a bit. I know in just a moment we're going to test things out with a blindfold. Mm -hmm. For those who don't know about this event, though, give us a little preview. Sure. So uh, this Saturday at the JW Marriott, it's a party of the year. Um, this is our opportunity to raise some awareness for some very special people. So uh, the Bosma Visionary Opportunities Foundation, this is our annual gala, yeah. and we're raising money that's critical for the rehabilitation for blind and visually impaired Hoosiers. Yeah, so talk to us about what Bosma does within the community and how you all help blind and visually impaired Hoosiers. Absolutely, so what we do is we raise uh, millions of dollars annually. Mm. And what this allows us to do is it, it we create custom rehabilitation programs for blind and visually impaired Hoosiers okay. to get them independent, right? So they can live their lives independently how they want. So yeah. returning to work, learning the tools they need for that, um, navigating their own home environment, mm -hmm. everything from walking with a white cane to using technology to return to the workplace. It's great. It's all covered through those rehabilitation efforts. So important. Now, I know that you're gonna walk us through a bit of a sample here. What are we seeing here and what are we eating? Yeah, so, uh, so essentially, this is a, just to give you a little bit of an experience of what it's like to do, what is a, a, a basic daily function without vision. Yeah. So when we put the sleep shade on, we have the lights dimmed, you're gonna, you're gonna get to experience eating, uh, you know, without vision. And so what's gonna happen is, uh, you're gonna first wanna just feel the table. Okay. And then slowly move your hands up till you feel the plate. All right and then you'll feel your silverware on the side. Okay. And then with, you know, usually what happens when servers bring food out, they'll tell us where the food is at on the plate. So for example, if you think of a clock, yeah. you know, meat is usually at 12 o'clock. Yes. Uh, or I'm sorry, at six o'clock, six o'clock. Whereas uh, in, in this case, I think we have mashed potatoes that are at 10 o'clock. Okay. And some carrots that are at two o'clock. So that gives you an idea as, you know, on the plate where those those things might be. So if you're wow. trying to like, you, you want to just use that sense of touch to be able to find the food. And if you're trying to figure out which side of the knife to use, you can yes. like rub it across your fork and you can feel it to feel the ridges and you can hear the, the difference. Oh, okay. To be able to know which side is, is the cutting side. Oh, I was using the wrong side to yeah. cut my, to <laughs> yeah, cut my that's meat right. there. That's that happens. Right. Wow. So, so then that was really good. Yeah. It is amazing to, to I mean, how quickly your other senses can adjust when one is taken away. That, that really is the key to it, is using those other senses yeah. to be able to fill that gap because we rely so heavily on vision. Actually, 80% of, of gathering and collecting information and data is through vision. So being able wow. to use all those other senses to fill that gap is important. Wow. Wow, and it really drives home the fact that this is something that so many of us take for granted. Yes. And when you're in a situation like this, it allows you to, at least just for a moment, put yourself mm -hmm. in someone else's shoes. That's right. Yes. Yes. And at dinner, we will have an ambassador like Chris that's doing an amazing job, by the way, yeah. helping us navigate. They'll be at the table telling us about their experiences, their life as a visually impaired or blind Hoosier, and helping us and helping their guests navigate the plate in the darkness. Wow. Yeah. The expert guide. I know. That's amazing. <laughs> Seriously, like, yeah. this is like you said, it's really interesting mm. to try and rely on your other senses. Yes, exactly. Yeah. It does, It and it, I mean, right now, it's slowing me down mm -hmm. to appreciate the experience even more, to savor the flavors, to feel the textures more. Absolutely, yeah. that, um, that is one thing that I've noticed is that sense of taste, you know, mm -hmm. th those, those flavors, you, you get that more, you know, because yeah. it's not like it's now better, it's just, you're more focused to it and it's, and it's right. heightened in, in that. Same with hearing. You know, hearing doesn't necessarily get better. It's just I'm more focused to sure. it. Sure. Yeah. So, so, uh, so it, it, in a sense, it is better. Wow. Chris, thank you so much for sharing thank a bit you of your much. story as well. Yes. Yes. And Brandon, if people want to sign up for this, I'm sure, you know, tickets have been going like crazy, but uh, room would still be available and people want to attend. What can they do? So we are technically sold out. Oh, great. But oh, I will tell you this, amazing. if you were watching this and you desperately want to come, we'd love to have you. Yeah. I've got a couple tickets in my back pocket. Oh, okay. So At this nice. point, I would say email me directly. Okay, okay great. Which is okay. Brandon W at Bosma.org and I've okay. got okay. four or five tickets. I'd yeah. be happy 
to give a, a new friend that wants to come and support. That is really yeah. nice. That's, that's great. This might be something, yeah, that, that you're very passionate about mm -hmm. and you want to get involved mm -hmm. with it. Yeah. Because I know there's so many great things that Bosma is doing. So if people want more information about programs, maybe they can't make it to this, but they want to help in other ways. How can they do that? Absolutely. So uh, social media channel is always a great way to keep up, up to date what we're doing. Also go to bosma.org slash foundation. Yeah. And you get to see all our future events as well as some really inspiring stories from people like Chris and other clients that have come through the program and are now thriving in, in their uh, lives. Well, thanks for the work that you all are doing. Chris, yes. thank you for sharing some yeah, of your Yeah, Chris, thanks for well. guiding us. And teaching yes. us through this. It was a very unique experience. Saturday night yeah. is the event. Uh, give them a follow on social media as well to connect. Maybe you can't attend like Jill said, but maybe you want to donate or volunteer or uh, maybe look at some board opportunities as well. Yeah. Friends, thank you very much for being thank here. Thank you, you so much for having Anytime. us. Yeah. Thank you. The food's really good. Good too. All right. Very, yeah. very good. We'll get yeah. back in the mashed potatoes. Still to come, our friends from Indie Parks are going to tell us about everything that you can do on Saturday's Riverside Promenade event. Yeah, including checking out some beautiful dance there from Pignette Dance Company. We're also going to get some free financial tips from the experts at Forum Credit Union in today's Smart Money Minute. We'll be right back. Stick around for more Indie Now coming up.